Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video about circuit analysis using Fourier series in literal example number 4. In this example we will look at a situation where we have a low pass filter with its own body diagram and we will then calculate the output voltage. So let's look at the situation. We have the following situation. The input voltage V in is applied to a low pass filter circuit as shown here in block diagram. The input voltage is given by this figure. So we have the one volt amplitude and it has a period of one millisecond. That means actually there is a frequency of one kilohertz. The frequency response of the low pass filter circuit is also given by a Bode diagram, Bode plot. And the, the question in place here is calculate the output voltage, output signal V out. So this is actually the problem here. So what we do and how do we sort is the solutions. We start actually using the Fourier series representation for our input voltage. So Fourier series of the input voltage of input signal is determined using the table of the Fourier series. So this is what you have as a result, the expression for V in, it has a DC value of 0 0.5 and the AC values are given by this expression where the N is now 2K minus one. The K of course is an integer. It will start at one and it will go to two, three, etc., all the way to infinity. And we have then the AC terms here and the DC term there. So for the fundamental frequency and also for the fundamental period, we can determine that from the given graph of the V in, which is in this case, as said before, one milliseconds. And that means T, capital T is fundamental free period is one milliseconds. The radian frequency is given by the general free, uh, expression as omega sub n is equal to n times the fundamental frequency in radians per second, where we have then omega zero is the fundamental radian frequency is in 2 pi divided by the period of the signal. 2 pi divided by the period given in this graph, in this, in this expression, in this uh, figure for Vn, that will be 2000 pi radians per second. Or if you want to have it in hertz, that will be F0 will be omega 0 divided by 2 pi, that will be 1 kilohertz. That is for the input signal and all the necessary information. Then we have the following for the V in. Of course, if, if you want to work out the omegas n, then you have the 2000 pi and t. So you have actually the AC term now specifically given by the omega n worked out in the 2000 pi n. Now, if I now continue and I would like to know what's actually the response, I really need to know what the dynamics of our low pass filter specifications are. So the low pass filter specification we determine it from the body plot. I have placed here several dots, several measuring points. So I have the for the magnitude at some specific points and I just of course calculate also the or determine the associated phase. So I will determine for specific frequencies my gain and also the phases. So at DC, that means actually at zero radians per second or zero hertz, the gain is zero dB, which means one. The cut off frequency for this low pass filter is two kilohertz, that might be necessary later on. These are the information we have. And this is the expression for the low pass filter in general. We have the H as the low pass filter transfer function. It has a magnitude and also associated phase for specific frequencies, which is given by N. At DC, from the body plot, you can see that the magnitude is 0 dB and the associated phase is 0 degrees. That is given by N is equal to 0. If I go to N is equal to 1, that means at 1 kilohertz, just actually the fundamental frequency at this dot here, that results in 1 minus 1 dB and the associated phase is theta one is minus 26.6 degrees. If I move one, I will check the third harmonic. That is the three kilohertz. I will have minus 5.1 dB. I've shown that here also. And also the associated phase, I go down and the phase plot will be minus 56.3 degrees. Now, if I do that for the fifth and also for the seventh harmonic, you will have these results all shown in the body plot. 
you might ask why i take one three five seven kilohertz and not two and the four and six kilohertz because the response of the input voltage will be definitely the odd harmonics why because the n will be also an odd number so the n will determine actually what the fundamental frequency will be multiplied by so if i look at the n and the k is one two three four etc that is actually an integer but the n is one three five seven nine eleven etc because the expression is given for n in this form so you can of course work it out just looking at the Fourier series table but that's the result and that's why we have only old harmonics at the output so let's look at the next steps so this is our input voltage again we can see that the dc and the ac values are given and if i work out the ac terms specifically using this summation i have 2 pi times the sine of the omega 0 t plus 2 over 3 pi times the sine of 3 omega 0 t etc just looking at this expression of course the omega 0 was given by the fundamental frequency which is done 2000 pi radians per second if i collect these values in a table i have then this table what you see from the table is that at specific frequencies you have the magnitude and also the associated phases so at 0 kilohertz which is just dc i have 0 0.5 as a magnitude but my phase is just zero because there is no zero uh, phase orientation here if i look at one kilohertz which is of course the fundamental frequency i have two over pi as the magnitude but the phase is also zero if i look at the three kilohertz which is the third harmonics here it will be two over three pi and again the phase orientation here there's no phase orientation so that means also zero degrees and if you do it for the next two frequencies you can ha have the amplitude and also the magnitude and also the phases now we have done that also for the low pass filter specifically for dc 1 kilohertz 3 kilohertz 5 kilohertz and 7 kilohertz and we have seen the magnitude in the dbs and if you work it out the dbs in the scalars we have then these values now these are of course unitless because if i look at the low pass filters magnitude that will be of course a ratio and a ratio is of course unitless in this case because the voltage is the input voltage is actually just given in volts and output voltage is also given in volts so that means actually volts divided by volts means actually unitless the phase orientation is given also it was calculated and determined from a devoted plot and that was actually what we have determined so if i now look at the output voltage again this will be very simple discretion uh, uh, expression will be v out is then the low pass filter times the input voltage transfer function or the expression in the complex plane now the magnitude for my output voltage is looking at specific frequencies and then calculate actually using this formula so just using of course the amplitude so the amplitude of my v out at dc which is shown here is the amplitude of my low pass filter times the amplitude of my input voltage at dc so you can see actually from this that the amplitude of my input voltage was 0 0.5 volts and the magnitude of my low pass filter was 1 at the same frequency what was this 0 that means 0 0.5 will be the volts what will result for this dc for one kilohertz specifically again v out one we'll look at the value of my low pass filter magnitude at 1 kilohertz and also value of my input voltage at 1 kilohertz and i will do the math you can see for the input voltage i have 2 over pi volts as my magnitude but my magnitude of my low pass filter was 0 0.891 so you just multiply that and you will have your result and this will be your output voltage at this frequency again the next one three kilohertz in a similar form you have then at this frequency for the low pass filter the magnitude and also for the input voltage you can see that the input voltage has a three kilohertz two over three pi as a magnitude but the low pass filter from the data from the body plot we had determined 0 0.556 of course we had zero minus 5.1 db 
we convert that to a scalar value, we will have this. And if you do the math here again, you will have 0.118 volts. In a similar form for the next two frequencies for the output voltage, you will have these two values. Now, if I collect all of, all of them also together uh, shortly for the table, you can see that more clearly. We will also do that for the phases. Now, for the phases, we have the following situation. For the magnitudes, you will multiply the magnitude of the low pass filter and also the, uh, also the input voltage together. And for phases, specifically at specific frequencies, you will add the frequency the, of the low pass filter and also of the input voltage. So if you multiply the complex expressions, you will look at the phases by m adding the phase contribution of these terms. So that's actually what's shown here. So at DC, for my output, it will be the phase contribution of the low pass filter at DC. And you will add the phase contribution of your input voltage at DC. And it will be zero degrees plus zero degrees. It will be zero degrees in total. Why? You look at the input voltage at DC. It has a phase contribution of zero degrees. Low pass filter at DC also has zero phase contribution, zero degrees. So that's actually zero degrees. At one kilohertz, again, this is the phase contribution at one kilohertz. Omega zero specifically, and you can see that the phase contribution of the low pass filter was minus 26.6, which is also shown here. But the input voltage was still zero, so that will result in minus 26.6 degrees. And if you move on uh, for the next uh, frequency data, you will actually have the similar um, form, and the, these are the result for the phases. So we have the amplitudes and we have the phases. And if I now collect those values in this table for a specific frequency and for the magnitude and also the phase, you have this nice table. We will now collect these together and we will then represent that in time domain in the next discussion. So that was actually our input signal, that was our low pass filter data and it was our output voltage or output signal. Again, the amp magnitudes for the input and output are given in volts. But the magnitude of your low pass filter is unitless. That's actually why don't, we don't have a volt here. Now, if I want to represent my output voltage in time domain, I look at the DC and also at the AC terms I have just determined. So I have just selected four AC terms and we have the DC term also. If I work it out, I have this, of course, given in time domain, we have the associated magnitude and also the phases just from this table. You can see at one kilohertz, fundamental, this is the amplitude 0 0.567, shown here. And I have the phase of minus 26.6 degrees, I have it here. The DC is just 0 0.5, which is shown here. Again, the next one, three kilohertz, 0 0.118, which is shown here for the amplitude. And for the phase is minus 56.3, which is shown here at this frequency. That's why we have three times the fundamental and a five times the fundamental and a seven times the fundamental, etc. You just look at the amplitude and the phase and you just use a template of sine times the, your frequency and then your phase orientation. Just from the table, of course, it will be determined by your Fourier series of your input voltage and the low pass filter dynamics. So this will be our V out representation with this uh, fundamental frequency, of course. So, if I now want to calculate and also draw the output spectrum, output signal spectrum for this signal we have just determined, we can look at the amplitude and also the phase spectrum, and it will give a lot of information how the amplitude and the phase uh, response uh, will look like. So, if I look at the DC, just zero radians per second, I have 0 0.5 as amplitude, and at the same frequency, I have zero degrees phase shift, and we have seen that. You can also see it from the time domain. At zero, omega zero, which is the fundamental frequency, I had 0 0.567 as the magnitude, which is also shown here. And the phase was, associated phase at this frequency was minus 26.6. Again, shown in this phase spectrum and also the, in the amplitude spectrum. Now, you can move on for three omega zero and a five times omega zero and seven times omega zero and also the associated phases. What you don't see here, we don't have any uh, any value for 2 omega 0, 4 times omega 0, 6 times omega 0, and also the 8 times omega 0. And it will be, of course, also valid for 10, 12, and 14, etc. So what you see is you will have a response for odd harmonics, 
and also the DC, but you won't have a response. So the response will be just a zero for the even harmonics. Why? Because your input voltage is already a, a signal where its Fourier representation has only odd harmonics. That will have actually what we have also at the output. So this is actually a linear system. So if you had even harmonics in your input voltage, that will also result in even harmonics at the output. So we don't have it. That will also not be uh, 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 given in the output voltage. So you can see that the phase at two, four, six and eight times the fundamental is just zero. And also for the amplitude is just zero. So there is nothing. And you can also see that here from the time representation. If I look at the time output signal waveform again, and it was the waveform we have just determined, and this was the given waveform for the VIN. And it was, of course, applied to a low pass filter that is cut frequency. It was just the first order low pass filter. And this was the result from this representation, a time domain. So if I draw this, I will have this plot. You can see that this plot will look like as this input voltage. So we have again approximately one volt as the peak and we have approximately the same period. Of course, I have drawn here used a finite number of AC terms and also the DC term. If I use more terms, I will of course have a more accurate representation. But what you see is the power of the Fourier series is you can use pure sine or cosine representation. It really depends on your, of course, your input. You can use the pure sine representations for very complex expressions or very complex waveforms and determine the output waveform just looking at the term for each term and what that will be for your output. So just looking at the input and you will actually decompose that in several terms using very simple pure sine wave representation and that will be of course using linear combination because that we assume that it's a linear system we can draw the output signal. So what we have in total now in this example the output voltage for our, for our signal for this uh, circuit given this input voltage and also the given the body diagram and we have now plotted for several terms the output voltage also in this final form. Okay that was actually for this example. I hope this is clear for you also using this example where we have a body diagram for the low pass filter. I will go into a high pass filter example in the next example. So if you want to see another different form of this problem, keep in touch. And if you have any questions, please let me know and take care.